According to the Health and Human Office of Minority Health, African Americans are 20% more likely to experience a serious mental health problem than the general public. Therapy and mentoring can sometimes be frowned upon. Through innovative methods, we eliminate the stigma. But first, we must relate. Through our electrifying school tour, we are able to build a bond with over a thousand students. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. Sugar could dream is something you must see. He meets us where we're at. The show, it was really good. Best show I've seen in years. I feel like everyone, including myself, is leaving as a different person after this. From the poplar trees. From the poplar trees. None of y'all got no romantic relationships, right? My name is Anaya Farmer. I am in the eighth grade dream academy. We talked about the discussion planners of how we feel about different things and different topics. I like how I express my feelings about the different topics towards everybody. How I feel about today's group session is me expressing my feelings and interacting with my group. We all related or we all had our own a title to our own opinion. Today we're going to meet three different characters. We're going to meet this person called Should, we're going to meet this person called Could, and then we're going to meet the Dream. If you ever watch a basketball game, right, in the beginning of the game everybody's joking around, everybody's having a good time. But as soon as that game begins, everybody's focused. No one's joking around until the end of the game. Every single day we're in our championship game, and it's business first, fun later. Dwayne Michael, the Sugar Could Dream Tour was amazing. I just want to say thank you. They came out today for the Sugar Could Dream Tour. It was a phenomenal production. It was fun, um, uplifting, upbeat, kept the kids on their toes. Thank you for coming to inspire our young people. Um, it's a way to give back to the community and uplift the students in the community and make them feel good about themselves and let them know that there's someone here that's definitely able to help and care and support them. We have days where they come in where they really don't want to say nothing at all, and we have other days where they have a lot to say. So it's a lot of balance, and then the, on the days that they don't want to say nothing, I kind of get it out of them, and we have a good time here. And it's not just always talking one-on-one. -on -one. We do posters, we go places, we do different things. Um, we do a lot of interactive activities as well. Thank you. 